Good morning, fellow woodworkers. Welcome back to another video. About a month ago, the wonderful people from Xtool approached me and asked if I would be willing to try out their laser engraver slash cutting device. I was thinking, is that supposed to be a real question? For sure, I'm gonna try out a laser. I mean, I still have one over there, my old snap maker, but it has nearly no laser engraving area. It's such a small machine and it's also not very portable and I just don't like the overall um, experience with the snap maker when it comes to laser engraving. So I'm particularly excited about building this one up and also trying it out today in this video. First cuts, first engravings and also we're going to see if we can engrave my logo on the cutting boards I already created for my art market. So yeah, I hope you are going to enjoy the video and I hope I'm going to have a great experience with this D1 laser by Xtool. By the way, if you're also interested in getting yourself one of these after watching this video, why not make sure to check out the link in the description. There you can find the website of Xtool together with all the accessories that you can also buy like the air assist set for this laser. So yeah, definitely make sure to check it out and support the channel this way. And now we are going to dive right in. So building that thing took me around about 30 to 35 minutes, I would say, um, which is totally fine. Uh, it's a quick build, it was fun to build up. I always love to touch and work with aluminum. It just feels extremely high quality. And this one also looks like extremely high quality and it's seriously portable. It's, it's great. I can put this into my car, take it over to art markets and start engraving names and personal things onto cutting boards with that thing. And now we are actually going to try it out. I already installed the light box or what it's called or light burn on my laptop. And yeah, now we can go ahead and get started with engraving or cutting something. Excited. It most definitely does something. Already smells burnt. Um, I need to get some air extraction, fume extraction. Gotta wear my nice mask here to not um, die from CO2 poisoning or shit like that. That definitely smells better. <laughs> Just like fresh air. Yo, that is looking crisp. Holy hell, look at that. Gotta get the focus right. That is looking real nice. And 
It's a very nice deep engraving already. That was perfect for plywood to engrave something. Um, what was this? 50% speed and 50 millimeters per second. No, 50% power and 50 millimeters per second speed. That is amazing. I want to try this out in hardwood and this time with my logo. Let's see if the logo even would work out nicely at first. Like, I did not believe that it could do the gradient on the colors, like the different colors you could say. But it just had different intensity here, meaning we had a lighter engraving on those parts that were a bit darker, a hard engraving on the really dark background and nearly no engraving on the other parts. And that is looking so fine, that is looking seriously fine. If I now put up the intensity and the speed, both, then I should get a really crisp logo, a small one, in a short amount of time that I can put onto my cutting board. So let's try this next. Yeah, that one didn't work out, it's just a small. You can see the Flemish wood properly, just barely. And I cancelled this one, but I got a different idea. Maybe a logo without a black background in it. So, I'm a bit baffled because I have no idea what happened here exactly. Um, for some reason, I didn't move the table, nothing. I was away from the table. For some reason, we got a glitch in a matrix, it seems. I mean, it has its own charm, but it's not what I desire. Also, um, this part right here of the Kanetsugi joint is not very visible. I think I need to change the color there into something grayish such that we get it, such that we get another gradient but other than that um, not too satisfied with the weird shift in logo but other than that the engraving looks rather crisp and it's also pretty deep. Um, I can't complain about that part at least. Let's give it another shot. Next try and I consider this to be successful. This looks pretty good. I seriously can't complain. Once again, to create engraving, it's nice and deep. And I think this is the one that's going to come onto my <laughs> onto my cutting board and the like. That is great. I love that. It looks so crisp on hardwood. The mahogany and the engraving. This is looking so good. Wow. You can't compare it with the plywood. Plywood still didn't look really good, but the hardwood, that is on a whole different level. Wow. This on a cutting board, amazing. Seriously amazing. Um, the engraving performance is top notch. I seriously don't know what to say. I can't wait for laser cutting now. But as far as the engraving goes, this is super cool. So satisfied with the machine. And this is what it's gonna look like once I sand it over it a tiny little bit and buffed some finish in. That is outright ridiculous. That is so good. The engraving is so nice and deep. 10 out of 10 on the engraving. That is ridiculous. I most definitely need some fume extraction. Oh goodness, I'm so glad that it's already springtime and I can keep my my door open. But yeah, that is cool. That went fairly well. If you're wondering what this aluminum down here is, this is what I still had left for my snap maker because I didn't want to work my um, burn my workbench here. Yeah. Um, other than that, is it yeah, it just snaps right out. That is great. That is a great result. Even the back side is looking pretty fine. 
Now I want to do a combination. So this right here was just very, very thin um, plywood. But now I want to do a combination of cutting and engraving. It actually took me a while to figure out how the cutting works. Um, be because what I want to do in Photoshop is I wanted to um, just get myself the outline. But this wouldn't have been thin enough, etc. But then I notice if I have a picture in here, I can just click the outline button. And it's going to outline... Um, everything yeah and and then we're good to go inside we can do the engraving and on the outside we can just simply do the cutting this is good that's a very nice feature I'm so satisfied with this very intuitive um, software too it's a 10 out of 10 for me at the moment for a diode laser this thing is a beast it's so nice to use ah oh, I'm just, it's just so magical So, let's see if it worked out. Yes, 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 yes. And yes, that is adorable. Thanks to the guy on DeviantArt for creating this piece. I'm going to give this to my wife. I think she's going to really enjoy it. Yeah, great result. But now for the last test, the thing I'm most interested in. Can we cut through hardwood? I'm not working with plywood in normal case. I despise plywood. Um, it's disgusting and I'm only working with exotics and hardwoods. And this thing is a bit thicker than the other one. So yeah, that's a bit of American cherry and we are going to try to cut something out of it. I think it's going to be more of a challenge, but I believe it's not going to be too much of a problem for this um, 10 watt laser. In one single pass! Oh my goodness! I can't believe it, seriously! Seriously! No way, right? This thick of a hardwood in one pass, but it looked like this. No way! That is ridiculous! Holy <laughs> shit! I can't believe it. I seriously can't believe it. The word we just now cut out is exactly my reaction to this laser. It starts with B and ends with Ra. This laser for me is a 10 out of 10. I was used to using the Snapmaker and it doesn't compare in the least bit. As a modular machine it's probably okay but um, as far as laser engraving and cutting goes this thing right here rules. It's, it's cool. It's seriously cool. And I can't wait to use it further. This is a 10 out of 10 for me. Um, I'm just baffled by just the performance of this little machine and the 10 watt laser. And I also can't believe that it handles hardwoods so well. This was my biggest fear that I couldn't do much with hardwoods. But yeah, it's Ich wurde eines Besseren belehrt, you would say in, in German. It's, it's, it's crazy. And if you also want to try it out, as mentioned before, links down there in the description to the website of Xtool and the Amazon shop and the like. And oh yeah, by the way, as far as the noise is concerned, I think you were able to hear it for yourself. There's nearly no noise, it's negligible. In comparison to all the other woodworking machines that I own, you basically don't hear this machine. Um, and if you are working with a machine like this, just a recommendation, get yourself a honeycomb um, pad that you can put underneath or something like I do right here with the aluminum ex extrusion. Also, get yourself for better performance and especially better engravings an air assist. Mine is already on the way, paid for it for my own money. And yeah, those are just two things that you should definitely get on. And also if you have a workshop where you can open the windows and the doors, definitely some kind of air or fume extraction device such that you don't hurt your lungs um, over time. And yeah, I hope you did enjoy this little review video. They didn't pay me or anything to say the words that I said today. 
they just gave me this laser and the machine speaks totally for itself. Do you also know what totally speaks for itself? Subscribing to the channel because this means you enjoy what I do here. And yeah, you should most definitely subscribe to the channel. And up until the next video, I wish you guys a flamble day. Now I'm going to play around with this laser a bit more. I'm going to engrave my cutting boards and it's going to be so much fun. Ciao!